We're given a circle containing an isosceles triangle with two sides of five centimeters and a base of six centimeters. We need to find the length of the radius of the circle. We're going to start to solve this problem by adding the center of the circle and drawing a radius out to the bottom left corner of the triangle. As this is a radius, I'm gonna label it R. We're now going to drop a perpendicular line from the top of the triangle down to the base. As this is a perpendicular line on an isosceles triangle, it's splitting it in half, so it must go through the center of the circle. So that top part is also a radius, so again we're going to label it R. Now if we label the height of this triangle as H, so the perpendicular height, then the bottom section of our vertical line is going to be H minus R. Also, as we've dropped our perpendicular line and we've split our isosceles triangle into two, we know that each side of the base at the bottom there is going to be three centimetres. Now we've got these, we can start to form some equations. To start with, let's look at the right-hand half of our isosceles triangle. So it's a right angle triangle with a hypotenuse of five, we've got a height of h, and we've got a base of three. So using Pythagoras' theorem, we can say that h squared is equal to the hypotenuse, five squared minus the other side, three squared. Five squared minus three squared is 16, so h must be four centimeters. We can now see that that bottom part of the vertical line is four minus r. So that bottom left-hand triangle has got three sides all in terms of r. Now it's got r, 4 minus r and 3, so we can put these together in Pythagoras' theorem again and solve for r. So the hypotenuse r squared is equal to the squares of the other two sides, so 4 minus r all squared plus 3 squared. Expanding the bracket on the right hand side, we get 4 squared is 16 minus 2 lots of 4r is 8r plus negative r squared, which is r squared, and we've got that plus 9 from the 3 squared on the end. Looking at our equation now, we've got r squared on both sides, so let's cancel them. And if we bring the 16 and the 9 together, we get that 0 is equal to 25 minus 8r. So 8r is equal to 25, r is equal to 25 over 8, which is a decimal, it's 3.125 centimetres. And there we go, the radius is 3.125 centimetres. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.